So 36 out of 50 while 44 out of 50. And I agree. And so today we're going to be looking at Hugging GPT, which apparently came out yesterday, trying to be the best open source AI chat model available to everyone. Again, this is trained by using Llama model. So you can go ahead and read more about that here. It will tell you how to set this up in your local system. It will give you the weights that you need to install in order to set it up. Um, if you're interested in understanding what data set it was trained in, you can see the sample data set here as well, where it kind of shows you what the model was feeding. So you can see the text, role, uh, language. This is the schema of what was feeded to the model in order to train it. And finally, it's somehow connected to Open Assistant using the same backend that Open Assistant is using, which is this one, in order to kind of run on the front end. So we're going to be comparing it across uh, five prompts. The first is going to be the story of a panda floating through space. Second, Python script for calling open AI API. Third, we'll prepare a sales pitch for an Amazon employee, convincing them to list on our marketplace. Fourth, we'll write a song about SafeGBT, which is a Chrome plugin that kind of helps you protect your privacy information. And finally, we'll do a trip planning for Bali. Well, let's ask the first question to Hugging GBT and Chat GBT 3. We'll finally, what we'll do is once we have all the data right, we will take both the answers, feed it to GPT-4 and we'll tell them to give us the scores for the answers. So this is, I think, the output for this. Right. So let's say this is by HG and this is by CG. CG is still writing its story. Very detailed, right? So if you look at Hugging GPT's answer, it was pretty chill about it. So yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time writing the answer. No panda is going to float through space. I think that's what it meant. Anyways, let's put this in GPT-4 and see the scores. So Hugging GPT apparently has 7 out of 10. Uh, it's kind of giving you why the story is evocative. And then CG story has 8.5 out of 10. Longer and more detailed, right? Which is very, very obvious. So it's also giving suggestions on what it can improve and cannot improve. Let's go back and this time ask the model to write a Python script for calling OpenAI API, right? So this is very, very simple, very easy code, piece of code to write. Let's see. Trust me, like I've used previous open source model and this, this is way better than other models that I've seen, right? So really impressed by the first part itself. It should be the same because it's very small piece of code, but let's see. I think Chat GPT has used OS. Yeah, this is a huge problem. It's a post API, so shouldn't really use get. Again, if you don't understand what is post and get, it's fine. It's a method, so it's fine. While chat GPT is doing post, which is correct in this case. So code wise, I think again, uh, chat GPT does a better job. Here we're going to be preparing a sales pitch for someone who's working at Amazon. Uh, we'll try to convince them to start working, you know, start listing Amazon products on our marketplace. Should be pretty tricky, uh, but let's see what kind of results come out. So let's copy this and let's paste this. This is relatively harder even for a human. So let's, wow, that's a great score. Uh, and it's very concise, right? Looking for ways to increase your sales, look no further joining. While well, ChatGPT has written it very detailed. It also called out that it does not necessarily audience, you know, address audience as Amazon employees, nor does it emphasize on the advantages of joining marketplace. While ChatGPT's score is 9 out of 10. Interesting. Let's ask next question. Uh, and this is more on the lines of creativity, right? So I'm going to say save GPT, which is a plugin, uh, which is a plugin that kind of helps you protect your private information when using chat GPT. So let's try it. Same question. We'll ask chat GPT. Nothing on hugging GPT so far. The model is stuck. Just, just. Yeah, nothing. Hugging GPT is not able to generate anything. Let me refresh, give it more context. So this time I'm saying a Chrome plugin to protect your privacy information. Okay. Now it's kind of going ahead and writing a song about this. Let's take this and add it here. And let's compare. 7.5 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. I would agree. Like it's also clean. Um, in this case, it's not clean and it's fine. It's an open source model. So you can expect all that. Finally, let's do some trip planning. Let's say trip planning for Bali. Let's uh tell chat gpt to do the same thing so kind of taking a while here looks like it started now okay it looks like it's ready now let's paste it and see what the score is so again gpt apparently has 7.5 
points and also some recommendations with respect to what was done well and chat gpt has nine out of and i agree because it has when to visit bali where to visit bali what to do what to eat while if you look at this it kind of gives you the location to visit the beach times what to try etc so it's pretty generic while the chat gpt one is pretty detailed now let's do the final summarization of score right we're, we're telling the model to give us a summary of all scores and feedback across all question so for story comparison 7 out of 10 8.5 out of 10 feedback is that it kind of gives more detailed and engaging narrative with character development clear story arc and a satisfying conclusion code rating again i think chat gpt did a great job especially pointing out that the method that was used was wrong because if you are someone who's not coding you take a very long time to get acquainted with uh, figuring out what is going wrong right so Sales pitch was, I think, uh, while Hugging Face, and I agree with the feedback here, the Hugging Face did a fine job, but didn't really clarify the target audience, right? Song comparison, uh, again. So almost like all questions, ChatGPT has done way better. And it makes sense because the open assistant is scraped from the internet or maybe the data from ChatGPT and is kind of trained to answer the questions that are similar to ChatGPT. 90-80% of the accuracy but not so good right again given it's an open source model it's way better compared to what um, a lot of the other models offer let's tell it to give us the final score so 36 out of 50 while 44 out of 50 and I agree this is I think probably going to be it for the video if you want to set this up in your local though it's not very hard so you know come to this link and you can set the set a Python environment up in your local, clone the model, download the weights. It's a long process. And for some of these models, you also need a GPU. So uh, just a heads up there, if you're trying to kind of clone it and run it in your local system, but open assistant or Llama in general is, I think the best open source model out there today. So we're able to kind of run it in local and you know make it work for your use case. There's nothing better than that. So really excited for all that's happening. If you're interested, join our Discord group and follow me on Twitter. But that's probably going to wait for the video, guys. Thank you so much.